Stick with me on this one and I'm going to show you how to make a solid bag rig. Take a section of uncoated braid and feed it through the eye of the hook. When you start whipping, you want to make sure that your whips stay nice and close together and you want to go around seven or eight times. Once you've gone round seven or eight times and you're finished and everything's nice and tight, you can now start feeding the tag end of the braid back through the eye of the hook. It's really important when you put the braid back through that you always go towards the pointy end of the hook. Snug everything down, grab your braid scissors and snip off your tag end. I'm going to be using a tungsten kicker on this rig and the kicker has two important functions. Firstly, it's going to protect your knot and secondly, it's going to help provide a more aggressive hook angle. Once you've wiggled on your kicker, you want to make sure that it kicks down in line with the shank of the hook. The next step is to put on our bait screw. If you don't like using bait screws, you can use a micro ring swivel. Now take a hook bead and we're going to slide it around the hook. If you're going to be using micro barbed hooks, you want to slide the bead round so that it sits opposite. In this example, these are barbless, but you can see where it should sit. If you found this tutorial helpful so far, don't forget to double tap the screen now and hit follow. Right, the next important step. Let's create a figure of eight loop at the other end. Make a small loop, twist it 180 degrees, and now we're gonna pass the little tag end back through. If you haven't got the dexterity for this, a latch needle can be really helpful. Regardless of the rig that you're making, before you cinch down any knots, always use some saliva. Grab your knot pullers and get those knots cinched down. Grab your braid scissors once more and cut off the tag end. Now we can start the process of attaching the rig to the ring on the bottom of the lead system. Pass it through, and now we're gonna feed the entire rig through the small loop that we made earlier. Once you've got all of the components of the business end of the rig through the small loop, you can then pull down nice and tight against the ring swivel on the bottom of the lead. Now grab a small amount of tungsten putty, rub it between your fingers, and you're gonna create about a half pea size at the bottom of your rig. The best bait to use for PVA bags is a wafter. I'm going to be using a small barrel wafter on this one. And that's it. You're done. That rig is now ready to go into a PVA bag with small pellets attached to your main line and cast out to catch a carp.